Tuesday evening, my daughter, a high school freshman, made a decision. Since her grade had consistently been in the 90s for her Spanish 2 class, if she were to forego the final exam, she would still pass the class with an approximate grade of 74. Upon her presenting me with her reasoning for skipping the test, and my knowledge of the origins and purpose of schooling, I told her the choice was hers. Wednesday morning, I awoke to a message from the school's attendance office, reminding her that the test was taking place and urging her to get to school. The office had left a message on my husband's phone as well. Thursday, I woke to a message from the Spanish teacher declaring that there would be a makeup exam on Friday morning at 7.45 a.m. and that she expected my daughter to be there. She also left a message on my husband's phone. Subsequently, the same afternoon, my daughter was at the school taking a different courses exam. Before this test, her Spanish teacher coerced her into agreeing to take the makeup exam. Upon completion of her exam, the principal intervened, detaining my daughter, demanding she take the test as the Spanish teacher watched from a slight distance. While expressing his concern that my daughter may not have transportation to the school, he offered to send a bus. My daughter informed him that she walked to the school for her exams. The principal then forewarned her that if she were not at the school at 7.45 a.m., he would send someone to get her. Kidnapping threats are a new school low. The same evening, my husband and I discussed with our daughter her options. 1. She could again waive the test and we would deal with anyone if they were sent to our home or lock the doors and ignore them. 2. She could give nonsense answers to every question and amuse herself. 3. Her dad would take her to the examination. She could write her name on it and turn it in and leave. 4. She could just take the test and not fully apply herself unless she wanted to. She finally decided upon the fourth option, feeling beaten up and bullied from her experience earlier that day. The teacher and principal bullies won this battle. I'm sure they're very pleased with themselves.